and that is Sean and we are more life and travel and today we are going to show you what's in my bug out bag this is how we do it <laughs> so now this isn't just for the zombie apocalypse this is a bug out bag because, you know, there are emergencies. We used to live in Washington state in the shadow of Mount um, Rainier, which is an active volcano. However, you know, it's not, it's been dormant for a long time, but now we live in Florida with hurricanes and everything. But I had watched this show about people who would have to leave their homes right away and they'd have nothing that they needed, no, none of their prescriptions, nothing to survive on. No toilet paper. And I got really, I got really into it, I'm just gonna say. So for, um, I built a bug out bag, one for me, one for Sean, one extra to put in our closet because at the time we had more cars than we had people that were driving. So I thought if, you know, both Sean and I were gone in our cars and Theo was at home, there'd be the bug out bag in the um, closet. And then I built one for Junior and I built one for um, Dana. And um, Sean doesn't have his anymore. I'm pretty sure Junior and Dana do. And I know I make Theo have um, hers in the back, you know, in the trunk of her car. But um, Sean used his. He come with some I bugged like, out. He I bugged I out. Feel like why are you using stuff in the bug out bag? The bug I out bag bug is specifically out. for bugging out. Oh bull. He was just like he'd be in his shed and be like, "Ooh, I want some of this." Okay, come on. Anyway, so a bug out bag is a really good idea to have in case you ever have to bug out whether it be zombie apocalypse or whatever. And whether here, it be in the woods and you need your handy And here dandy is tent. what is in our Water bug out air. bag. So I had a cheap tent just for some shelter in all of them. A little thin little blanket in all of them. Now this here was so goggles and earplugs. Are those my snowmobile goggles? They're used. Those are my snowmobile Some goggles. Hand warmers in there in case it got cold. A garbage bag. So you never know if you need garbage bag and you never know when you're going to need some filters. So those I are called to go ponchos. So I have these are on the run ponchos there. those rain jackets. It's are. time for me to update because every year you know, I need to replace some of the items in it. And it's you time know for where me they to, can go. Um, replace them. So then we'll use the items that were in the bag and then um, I'll replace them. That's with what other she stuff. filled my bag up with. That's why I bugged her. Oh, here is a solar light or a flashlight. It recharges with any light source. Is this one that um, also has the crank? No, but there's that. Now here are some of my personal items that I will probably have to, some face wipes. These, these weren't in everybody's, well they were, but different things. A toothbrush, a little bit of toothpaste, comb. For me, contact solution. You find on fun in the bath where you're bugging out at. In the river, I needed some, um, I wear contacts, so just in case I was wearing contacts, dental floss, a little nail clippers and things like that. And this was a clear face zinc SPF because you still gotta be careful about the sun if, um, it's you know, so you're out bugging out. Or if there's, you know, a nuclear fallout, doesn't it? Right. I don't know if that. Here's some of the things that I'm going to need to replace because these are older meds. So I'm going to put these with my new meds and replace them because you're going to need to have 
your medications at least so i think i have seven days worth of medications here because if um you bug out you still need to take your meds now this is what one of the things i am very proud of because um sometimes it is hard to make a fire not for you, babe. Not for me. So I got this at the Dollar Tree, this petroleum jelly. I don't know why the lid came off. And see these um, cotton balls? You take one of these. Oh, there, grab that. Mm -hmm. You take one of these and you put the petroleum jelly on it and then stick it wherever underneath the wood or whatever it is that you're going to need to make a fire because although i did bring a flint this is or is this a flint let me see ow oh, it's got a razor no it is a plant. Here, undo the bottom. I have two lighters in here, and I also have See, a thing of matches. You scratch it to get the... Do you want to try this with the flint? Uh, so, in case, once we ran out of matches, in case this... I just put... Well, I have to have it up here to put some of the stuff on You it. don't need the stuff on it when it's got that. All you need to do is spark it. There you go, babe. All right. We'll just throw a match in because I don't want to. You don't want to open them. Well, I'm going to have to replace. You know, matches get old too. So these might be. Well, I got some new ones in the garage. Replacing. They might look like them ones though. But. Oh. Look, see how good that yeah. starts? Yeah. She got a fire already. Because. Look at that. RDR. You know, it's hard to light a fire when you're out and about, and that lasts for a long time. And then if you... Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. You are but the... But see if you... Mm. See? Yeah, but you didn't need... See how it burns? But it could have started see, with can, one of those. Kids, you can make your own sprinkler or sparkler. Oh. Anyway, so I also have the flint in there, but I did have matches. And two lighters. Oh, you did have a lighter. I went to go get oh. you one. And then put the lid back on this. But the petroleum jelly is the key. Petroleum jelly and some cotton balls. And that keeps it going. But this is, you know, later on. As if you're desperate, you can just pop a pimple. <laughs> just kidding. I had a little one set of extra well, clothing. Well, you need and that here. <laughs> These are some... Um, Use this for a pillow, maybe. I know. But these were warm clothing, you know, for underneath clothes. Oh, yeah. And they're lightweight. You needed these. Or she did. A hydro flask. Boil water. A can opener. In case, you know, when I'm going from home to home after the zombie apocalypse and all I got is, I got one of those. This is um, paracord. And it's like a whole cool thing of it. And then what is this part again? Junior bought me this to add to my, um... I am inserting this somewhere, but this rope contains all of these items here. It's called a survival grenade. Oh, also a long lighter. I have to replace these. I have oh, the okay, two, two big waters. What is that? Oh, is that a, what is it? Compass. Oh, the compass. That's very cool. So the big waters, these aren't the little 16 ounces. These are the one liters. Oh, they're the big ones. You always need duct tape. You're gonna need duct tape. Yeah. 
Yes. Which blade? You no, know, it's not a switch blade. It's a hunting knife. It's serrated. It's a survival knife, actually. Is that a Rambo? Serrated. It is my Rambo knife, yeah. Does it have a compass it's, on the end? It's got serration. I don't know, but... Oh. Oh, she doesn't even... Yep. Compass! And fishing gear? I don't know. Open that up. What is in there? Fishing gear. No, matches. Oh, it's all fire starter. Another fire starter. So look at this. Jeez. My survival knife. And this uh, is waterproof. Uh, uh, so. Would you look at that? That is still. No, go ahead. Keep it. I want, I'm curious how long that will stay. Uh, well, I just just did. All it is is one cute or one cotton ball. One cotton ball, and it's still burnt, and it's hot. But my knife. A set of cards, just in case, for we're bored. Emergency blanket. This is what she'll be doing while I'm out hunting for food. A pen light. A butt wipe. These really work because I had to use one night. <laughs> yeah, one got, night. He got stuck on his boat. And why? I didn't because even he have a shirt. ran out of gas. I didn't even have a shirt. This is damn Kurt Gators were coming trying to get in my boat, climbing up on the back. Probably didn't step. need that. That's probably extra. Butt wipes, wet wipes, and these can be used for your butt, for washing your hands, whatever. Well, can I have this? Yeah, because it's probably extra. This is a hand crank radio. Oh. So if we need to hear, you know, what's crank going, it up, baby, just crank uh, it up. Is it, you know, is it clear? Where is a good signal coming from for us to go to where the zombies are not around? Damn zombies. Mind you, I made one for every member, like I said, of the family, and it ended up being all these a lot of money. Here is an eleven function. What do you do? Oh, 11 function see, pocket see, tool. See, so small, so you can use this. You just got a glimpse of it. I what have, are you doing? Oh, more wet wipes because. Let me seal the deal. I have a pair of gloves. I'm a gloving. These were my motorcycle gloves back when I had um, my. She's seen a TV really show and all of a sudden she was gonna be a motorcycle I mama rev, i had some um food in there oh well jerky jerky yeah but you should Which I need to replenish that, replenish that we do got a lot of i that. used to have um i used to have peanut butter in here too i don't know where that is so here is first some aid first aid items Stop blood instantly. But here is my actual first aid kit. I don't know why this is out of it. I can tell Sean has been in my bag. Do you know how I know? Because my life straw, which is in case, you know, I've run out of water and I'm at a stream and I can't why build would a fire. I use it? Then I had a life straw that I can use and it filter the water so I could drink out of the river which I'm gonna to have to replace. Here is all sorts of, you know, things that you're gonna need for a short-term basis for any injuries. Oh, so I'm gonna put this in it because this belongs in it. And then Sean must have Good put thing. this in my bag when he took out my life straw because um, I don't recall having a pencil sharpener because why would I have a pencil sharpener when I don't have a pencil in there? And do you know, I know whose pencil sharpener this is. I know, it's Sean. Then, Junior, I have a little set of tools. One of these, which these are coming so handy. See? See? So I have this and it comes in a little case and then it has um, different tops that I need. Phillips, flathead, 
Or what are you gonna do? In case I need to build a survival shelter, you know, in case we're out for a long time. Let me check your eyes. And then, okay, let me see. Are there any zombies out there? No, is it safe to go to the bathroom? Go look. <laughs> And I did have peanut Anybody butter in here. Ooh, look at this squirrel. Which I had a lot of peanut butter in there, which I'll need, but they were individual um, peanut butter things. But the reason I am showing this is because I think everyone should have a bug out bag so that in case they do, it's one bag. I bought these big old, um, I bought these at Ross so I, and they were all different for each one of us because, you know, I just bought what they had, which My would be big enough. Out there, huh? But um, if you have to bug out, if you have to leave quickly, oh, we just you grab out. your bag. Just die. But by that time, your wood is burning Jeez, hard. If you're not burning, something's wrong. Yeah, and this could be used for not only water, but I can boil water in this. You could start a fire in here if it was too windy. Um, why would you build a fire inside your drinking container, boiling water inside? You well, make no I sense. guess I guess you'd have to build but something. But one of the reasons I am showing you this is not only because I think you guys should have one, everyone should have one, but we're gonna put it to the test. Sean and I are going to go out after I replenish. Dreamer. We're going you to know take- You she is a dreamer. We're going to take the boat out to one of the little islands in, um, on the Indian River Lagoon. They have all these little uninhabited islands. And I'm gonna see if we, in fact, can survive for two days with my survival kit. That's it? What are we gonna eat? No, I am, I used to have more food in there. I know Sean has been in mine because I know my life straw is missing. I bet you there's other stuff missing, but I had like four of these in there and I had peanut if butter. If you have any recommendations to add to this. Ooh, that's a good idea. But no unnecessary stuff like underwear, you know. <laughs> well, I figured I was wearing oh. underwear, and this is for like two days, but yeah, just quick, it has to fit in here, and um, I don't think the tent is necessary, I think a piece of tarp would be efficient. I, oh, that's, that's the other thing, I had oh, a piece of tarp in every single one of these. <laughs> So that means he's gotten into my bag and took stuff out of mine too. I had a tarp in here. It was just a little 10 by 10. Yeah, oh my gosh. So I don't know what else he has taken, but I am gonna- That was years ago. My add goodness. a few things. I'm gonna add two more waters just because there's two of us gonna be we living off of this. So we can yeah, and um, I'm going to add, replace the, jerky and add more of the jerky and the peanut butter which is all that i had in there so I'm she gonna sends see if me we from can... washington state to florida with no bug out bag he had a thirty two thousand mile 100 miles he had a bug out bag and he chose to pilfer it but i cannot believe you pilfered in mine too I don't know what else is missing. So if you do have any suggestions on what I might be missing, because I did a lot of research on it and it was a few years ago and now I don't remember. But um, you watched what's his name and what's his name on TV. I watched Craig Stewart. Why? And he was like Yeah, bolt she's yeah. so just like I said, she watched a movie and they rode a motorcycle and she had to go get her endorsement, buy a motorcycle, rode it twice. Uh, uh oh, bull. And I also How took- How many times did you ride it? I rode it almost every day around the block. <laughs> so, I swear, I took it out almost every day and rode Billy around the block during the- Billy, I named had, after Idol. Cause it was a Honda Rebel. Ooh. Why would you name anything that's a Honda Rebel? Now, can you picture her on a Honda Not Rebel with her all of the gear? She had oh. to go out and buy everything. I had everything matching. Everything. Too. Even Black the backpack. 
Which I don't know why she needed a backpack. Because I was going to take it to the library and I had no um, saddle bags. And so if I took it to the library, which I did like three different times, which was like three miles away. So that was far. Um, I needed to be able to carry stuff in my backpack. I'm surprised you didn't have your bug out bag, to be honest. Oh, shut it. I had the bug out bag in the trunk of my car. So Thank you, everyone. Thank you have a you. great day. And watch for an upcoming episode where Sean and I try to survive on an island for two days with the bug out bag.